let's have a look at ASDN, the graphical interface of the Cisco ASA firewalls. To enable ASDM access, you need to enable the HTTP server. ASDM is not a HTTP client. It's not a web client. It's a Java application that you install on your computer, but it uses HTTP for transport. Therefore, it's called HTTP within the firewall configuration. If you have not already this command in place, HTTP server enabled, you need to do that. Without that, you cannot connect with the ASDM to the firewall. Also, you need to add which IP addresses should allow access to the firewall with ASDM with the command HTTP, IP, and Netmask and interface. In this example, I did exactly the same thing as for SSH. I am on the outside. I want to connect from 10.192.168.0/24. So I add this command to the device. Also, I need to specify how to authenticate users trying to connect with ASDM earlier talked about these two commands, enabling authentication with the local username and password for SSH and for the enable prompt. We also have this command, AAA authentication HTTP console local. This command does exactly the same thing as the SSH command. It says whenever anyone connects with ASDM, they should be authenticated using the local username and password database. Local needs to be in capital letters, in this case, I earlier created username Cisco, password Cisco, so that's what I should use. When you have enabled ASDM access with the HTTP commands in the firewall, you can connect to the firewall with a web browser. Let's try that. I open a web browser and I use HTTPS colon slash slash and the IP address of the firewall. This is the IP address of the interface that is closest to the client. And since this web browser client is on the outside of the firewall, I connect to the outside interface, and you can see here that I get a certificate warning. First time I did that, I get a warning that I need to approve to get through, and that's because I have not installed an HTTPS certificate on the firewall. I can do that to get rid of those error messages, but in this case I have a broken certificate chain. It's because the SSL certificate in the firewall is self-signed, and my web browser does not trust that certificate and I override that and I get to this page here. This page can be used to install ASDM in two ways. I can either install ASDM locally on my computer and that is supported for Windows and Macintoshes, or I can run ASDM as a Java web start application within the browser. That's the bottom window here. In this case, and for most cases, I use the top button to install ASDM on my local machine and I have already done that and I have ASDM available here. So this is how ASDM looks like when you start it. You have three main parts of the ASDM. You have the home part, configuration part, and monitoring part. In the home part, you by default have a device list to the left. That is a list of devices that I have already previously connected to, and I can remove that to get more space on the screen for other purposes. In the home part of ASDM, you can see information about the device. We have two tabs, device dashboard and firewall dashboard that shows different information. In the next video, we will look deeper into what we can find and do in ASDM.